Hey everyone, my name is Perry, I'm an electrical engineer, and in this video we're going to watch Dr. Stone Season 3, Episode 3 to see how accurate all the science and technology in this anime really are. This type of camera is extremely, extremely, extremely sensitive to movement and they didn't have iMovie or Final Cut Pro or any sort of video editing software that they can use for color correction or focusing or any of that sort of stuff. The camera Senku is taking photos with right now is rated for 100,000 megapixels. That does not mean that the image is going to come out as clear as the ones we get on our iPhones and that has to do with digital. Basically every photo we take now is digital and that means there's a lot of stuff happening behind the scenes after the actual image is captured from your camera. Zooming in, zooming out, doing slow-mo, taking video. Every digital processing is going to happen in live time. Senku is using an analog camera if there ever has been one, right? Because he has got to go and balloon over all that distance and keep on sliding out those metal plates as much as he can while there's still daylight. The reason is because cameras of all kinds, even the digital and analog that we use today and what Senku is using, they capture light. And that is why if you're not able to have a flash setting on your camera, it's really not going to give you a great image if you take it at night. In Senku's case, especially using an analog camera, everything has to be done during the day when there's the most light out. And that's because if he tries to take a photo at night while it, the balloon is actually moving and he's, uh, it's just, it's for one gonna be really blurry and it's gonna take minutes. Even if Senku had access to flash, he's really far from the images and like the creeks and the forests and all the streams that he's taking an image of, I don't think it would actually make a difference. If Senku had a zoom feature, that would be completely different, but he, the only way he can actually zoom with that camera is like actually getting up close and personal with the lens and whatever he's trying to capture. ならばこの黒い染みは何だ。お、言われてみりゃ不自然だな。縮尺的にこれって水たまりくらいの大きさ。まさか地表に染み出た黒い宝石。さがら油田だ。How? That doesn't that doesn't actually make sense. How are you No, how is anybody able to spot specifically the Sagara oil field? over a black and white image. Every photo that Senku takes with that camera, no matter how long he's actually focused on it for, will all be black and white. There's no way of differentiating an oil field from a pond or a lake or really any, all bodies of water will look the same to that camera. It'll have the same like texture, the same consistency, same color. I, I doubt that he will ever be able to look at something because that oil field doesn't resemble anything different than just a regular pond. How how can they say that's a black oil field and then that's like a blue lake? They, they, they're all black and white. That's true, this is really the most reliable and I think true only way of finding truffles because if people were to use shovels and dig them out of the ground, the likelihood that we would damage it with the blade of the shovel is really, really high and then you can't sell it, you can't use it for food, you can't do anything with it, but if you use dogs or pigs to look for truffles, they'll do it perfectly. Only female pigs can be used to find truffles in the ground because they're attracted to that pheromone adrostenol, which is also the mating hormone that exists in the saliva of male pigs. Truffles are delicious. There's a reason that they're so popular and they're so expensive. They are mushroom, well, they're like mushrooms, that they're both fungi, but truffles grow 100% under the ground, whereas almost all mushrooms will grow out of the ground. And the truffle will actually form a symbiotic relationship with the tree root that it's attached to in that since the truffle being all underground, it can't photosynthesize like any other regular plant or fungi. So it'll take all the energy that the tree produces from photosynthesis through the roots and then in return, 
It'll give the tree nutrients and water from patches of soil that the tree cannot easily reach. Another reason that truffles are so expensive, it could be a white truffle or a black truffle, that doesn't matter, is because they're very, very difficult to farm. It's a really fickle fungi <laughs> in that it's a very specific environment required to actually grow these to a large enough size where they can actually be sold and used. It's got to be right humidity, it has to be the right soil composition, it's got to be at that time of year, and farming truffles is really, really specific and really annoying. And you do have to specifically train dogs sorry, to go dig up those truffles because the pigs, once they find the truffle, they'll just eat them. And that's a natural process actually because that's how the truffle spores will actually spread and that's what the fungi wants to do. It wants to spread spores and grow more of itself. The hippocampus is a part of your brain that's really deep in the temporal lobe and it is responsible for learning and memory. When you focus really hard and try to recall something from your memory, you are activating the hippocampus really, really finely and your brain will actually allocate resources to allow you to do that more effectively. And what will happen are your other senses get numb. I mean, literally, especially your vision, your hearing, and your smell. Your brain will actually take away from those to focus on the one part of its brain, which is you trying to remember something. In fact, the sense that you're most receptive to while you are in that state that Senku was in just now is touch. If somebody taps you on your shoulder, you're actually hyper alert to it. And if somebody just like slightly like shakes you to try to like, hey, are you okay? Are you just focusing? Then your body will like really just like jolt up. But in general, your brain is very, very good at trying to figure out what your mind wants to do and adapting for that purpose. Since Senku is within walking distance to the Sagara oil field, we kind of know where the Ishigami village is, right? Because, well, I mean, to say it's on the coast is kind of, it's Japan, everywhere is near the coast, it's an island. But we know the oil field is within walking distance of that village, so we know that Senku is going to be somewhere in southeastern Japan. That is a giant push forward for the stolen world, finding oil, because that's, that's huge. Depending on how you process the oil, and by that I mean how the, the temperature at which you heat it up to be, it can be used as fuel for uh, cars, airplanes, lawnmowers, right? Just about anything that has an engine that'll allow for petroleum. The main difference between diesel fuel and gasoline is that diesel fuel is much thicker, and it needs to be because diesel engines are built to withstand a much higher compression. That makes them more reliable, that makes them last longer, and it also makes them a lot more expensive. The top straw of that container is open to the air around it so that it doesn't create air bubbles. and. So for, for example, if you've ever taken a bottle or a two liter of like soda or pop, whatever part of the country you're from, depending on what you call it, and you just flip it upside down and whatever liquid is getting out of the bottle, you'll sometimes see air bubbles go back up. And you're gonna hear that sound too, right? And the reason that happens is because the volume of that container is changing, so the pressure has to equalize with it and that's why the air goes up. However, the reason that this is not going to happen with what Senku is doing is because that straw is actually doing the equalizing in real time. GPS stands for Global Positioning System, and it, it'll actually work even in outer space, so it, it could be beyond global. A GPS requires three components, a ground station, a satellite, and a receiver. Now, since Senku is not going to launch a satellite into Earth's orbit, he is going to be using that radio tower as a dual purpose for his ground station and the satellite. His receiver is the antenna aboard that boat, which is going to receive all sorts of signals from the cell tower. For most of us, the receivers that we operate on are the antenna inside of our cell phones or our cars. And those GPS systems are far better because we can actually triangulate our position and we have so many reference points all around us. Senku has one reference point. That's the one cell tower that he's operating from. 
So his GPS will specifically tell him the distance he is from that cell tower. Our lives run on GPS now. It's how Amazon drivers know where to drop off your package. It's how planes can navigate their flight path. It's also how all dating apps work. You can set the radius in terms of distance of who you want to potentially match with and that could determine who you end up in a relationship with. So GPS is actually very significant to everyone's lives every day. Okay, that is... What? <laughs> That's a horrible way to end the episode, and nobody in the comments ruined this because I have not read the manga, I don't know who's on the other end of that. There shouldn't be anybody alive in the Stone Age outside of Japan, so that's not radio interference, that is specific Morse code. And don't not don't ruin this, because I really have no idea where this is coming from, but... Uh, you know? <laughs> who else has the revival fluid, and well, who else actually has the technology to send Morse code? Thank you guys for watching the video, I wish you all the best rest of your day.